Hey everyone, Mitchell Gould here, and in today's video, we're gonna be going over what is conversion rate in the digital marketing context. So we're gonna go over the definition, why it's important, the things that impact conversion rate, how you can improve it, how you should be measuring it over time, and also review some benchmarks. So for the definition of conversion rate, it, it is the percentage of visitors who complete a desired action out of everyone who visits. So if you have a website and say it's an e-commerce website and you're measuring purchases, it's gonna be how many people purchased out of the total number of visitors to your website. And that's gonna give you your conversion rate. So it's conversions divided by visits times 100% to put it in the percentage um, format. Conversion rate's always shown as a percentage. So as an example, let's say you had five people purchase on your website out of 100 visitors, you'd have a 5% conversion rate. Now conversions, that can be any desired action that you wanna measure. So that can be on the lead generation side, that could be scheduling an appointment, filling out a, a lead form. On the SaaS side, it could be starting a trial, you know, submitting to talk to sales for a demo request. It can be on the e-commerce side, typically, you know, it's a purchase. So that's what a conversion is. So why it's important to measure. If you're not measuring the conversion rate, you're just gonna be looking at top of funnel metrics like impressions, click-through rates, CPMs. And what conversion rate does, it allows you to determine how well a particular, you know, marketing channel is performing. So say you're running LinkedIn ads, you wanna know what the return on investment is. Like if you're spending X amount of dollars, how many people are converting and then how many people are you know, turning into revenue and then you can calculate your return on investment. So it helps you measure other down funnel metrics like customer acquisition costs. And if you can improve your conversion rate, you can lower those other other metrics like customer acquisition costs that will go down because you're getting more conversions for the amount of money you're spending. So it's really important just to understand so you can determine how well things are performing. If you don't know how many people are purchasing and you're running Google ads for your, your e-commerce site, or if you're running ads for you have a service business and you want people to fill out a lead form and you're not tracking that with conversion tracking in the ad channels, then you're not gonna know, you're not gonna be able to truly understand the return on investment without proper tracking. So it's really important to measure it and it's gonna help you understand your return on investment. Now, the things that impact conversion rate, it can be a lot of things. So it can be the audience targeting. If you're not targeting the right people, that's gonna impact your conversion rate. If your creative's not relevant to the people you're targeting, that's gonna impact your click-through rates and also impact your conversion rate. The landing page experience is huge. So if you're running Google search ads or any other types of ads, the experience uh, that the user lands on and how that is set up, you know, if it's optimized for conversions, is there social proof? Is there a strong call to action? Is the, does the offer make sense? All those things are gonna impact your conversion rate. The types of creatives you're using, videos, images, Google search ads, the, that leads into the platforms. Are you running on you know, Meta, Google? Do you have remarketing enabled? That can impact your overall conversion rates. Seasonality, conversion rates on you know, change throughout the year depending on mo most industries. There's usually some you know, things go up and down or, and deviate a little bit um, depending on the industry. Also, your bid strategies. So in a lot of ad platforms, you can bid differently depending on what your objective is. So if you're not optimizing for conversions in the ad platform, that can impact um, your conversion rate. Also the attribution window, I have a video about attribution windows, but if you're just measuring your conversions in say a 30 day period versus a 90 day period after someone clicks an ad, um, that's gonna impact it. And also device, depending on the service, your product, your website, the user experience on mobile versus desktop, people might be you know converting more on mobile versus desktop, or they might convert more on desktop and mobile. Um, maybe the user experience looks slightly different on devices, so that can also impact conversion rate. And really, it's just important to measure and look at your conversion rates by those different segments. So look at it by platform, 
by you know audience networks look at it by device and break it down so you can see you know by particular audiences how things are converting and what's giving you the best return on investment tips for improving conversion rate really the biggest thing is doing a b testing you probably heard about conversion rate optimization so testing your landing pages testing your ads testing your audiences to see what gives you um, the best conversion rate so all these items above can be tested you can do a landing page test test a different call to action test adding social proof to a landing page test a different image in the hero section of a landing page test different headlines and descriptions really it's really important just to continue to test a b test and iterate on your creatives your landing page and all your your digital marketing assets so you can incrementally improve your conversion rate over time and that brings me into reporting you're going to want to monitor your conversion rates over time so as you're testing things you can understand how certain things are impacting your conversion rate you can understand you know is is it a seasonality thing or is it a performance issue you know did we change something in the account that's causing conversion rates to change and if you have a good reporting setup then you can easily look at that over time so this is just an example uh, you can see the conversion rates here that i use for one of my clients and you can see the cost per action cost per conversion the same thing here on how much it costs for those conversions and then we have the absolute value for those conversions so in this week there was five conversions and the cost per conversion was uh, twenty three dollars and forty eight cents and we had just about a thirty six percent conversion rate and then we monitor that over time and we test different things and if something changes like the conversion rate increase here we want to understand why that happened and next i'm going to just go through I'll put these links on benchmarks um, it's really important to really benchmark against yourself so if you're running ads get a baseline of what your conversion rates are and see if you can continually improve that you can use benchmarks to see if you're in range um, but yeah using your own data is going to be really helpful just to understand how you're performing over time so I'll, I'll put these links in here but we have some SaaS website conversion rate benchmarks, some Google Ads benchmark conversion rates by different industry, um, Facebook conversion rates by different industry, and LinkedIn ads in terms of form fill conversion rates by uh, the different funnel stages here. So bottom of funnel, mid funnel, top of funnel. You can have a look at those and take a look at the benchmarks if you're you know just starting off and you're trying to set up some budget allocations and do some estimations on what you could expect based off of some industry based benchmarks that can be helpful for planning and forecasting. Uh, but again, just, yeah, once you get things running, make sure you're monitoring your conversion rates, make sure you're testing things. And if you have any questions about conversion rates or any other digital marketing uh, concepts or definitions, please put them in the comment section. I'd be happy to help you out. So, Thanks for watching and have a great day.